my name is Sukarzewinski, I am a seismologist from the Institute of Geophysics, College Academy of Science, and uh, uh, today I will show you a short presentation uh, concerning seismology and earthquake. So probably you know what uh, is a seismologist, so you can you can think about it and compare it with uh, official uh, say. The seismology. What is seismology? Seismology is the scientific study of earthquakes and the propagation of elastic waves through the through the only in this presentation you will see uh, what is an earthquake, uh, what kind of seismic wave we have and, and uh, how to analyze them. First of all, some basic information uh, concerning seismology. First of all, earthquake. What uh, an earthquake? So, earthquake probably also know, but, but you can compare with uh, this definition, uh, which says that earthquake is the shaking of the surface uh, of the earth, resulting from the sudden release energy in the earth lithosphere, creates a seismic wave. How we measure earthquakes? So, we measure it using some kind of plots and some kind of um, device. Um, uh, uh, we chose this kind of plots, uh, which we called as the seismogram. So you have uh, a, a, an example of, of such kind of seismograms. How is seismology? In a very basic way, it's been divided into uh, two pieces. One is uh, physics, it is a part of seismology which deals with uh, seismic source. It means uh, with uh, the sources of earthquakes. Uh, in this part, we consider creation of seismic event, we consider a mechanism of seismic event, and um, uh, some kind of physical parameters which uh, describe um, the source. And we have uh, another part of seismology which is, uh, which is uh, dealing with structure. So, in this kind of of, uh, of seismology, we use a seismic wave to obtain information about the uh, structure of our Earth uh, from the surface uh, uh, down to uh, the center of the Earth. And in a way, we can we know that um, we have a, uh, our Earth is built with, uh, uh, with some kind of uh, pieces like lithosphere crust uh, in the uh, outer core. And in echo. This of, um, two pieces are joined to obtain information about uh, 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 the various phenomena which is uh, connected with um, ground shaking, uh, namely about um, accelerating the ground motion. Using information from source physics and earth physics, we can use a uh, and uh, mathematical or statistical methods to obtain uh, something which is called seismic hazard. Seismic hazard is um, part of uh, um, part of seismology. Let's say when we provide information, uh, which is uh, which uh, which are uh, later used by um, uh, engineers to build uh, safe um, building uh, facilities and so on. Question over for you. How do you think uh, can we can we forecast an earthquake like a weather? Let's think about it. So we write uh, uh, seismicity. So seismicity mm, uh, can be divided into uh, natural and is seismicity. Uh, not seismicity is is connected with uh, mostly is connected with geology and technology. Uh, and here, seismic sources, uh, earthquakes, uh, are connected with uh, some kind of discontinuity in the lithosphere, in the lithosphere, um, which are called as, uh, which are which are called uh, faults. We have three basic kind of faults. Uh, that is um, uh, normal fault, uh, reverse fault, trust fault uh, in the middle, and uh, like sleep fault uh, in the right. Usually, this uh, normal and trust or revert faults are connected, are 
mixed somehow strikes with force and we obtain some kind of uh, another force which are called optic force. Uh, um, seismicity uh, is uh, observed in the Vulcanus area where we have a uh, uh, different kind of um, seismic events which are very important because usually we can use them as a, some kind of uh, information that uh, volcanoes will be uh, hazardous in a very short time and it could be uh, it could uh, bite some kind of um, uh, explosion of um, seismicity uh, is called induced seismicity and is connected with human activities. Uh, uh, so here we have a uh, exploration uh, of georesources like underground mining, open pit mining, or oil or gas um, extraction or exploitation. Uh, another kind of induced seismicity is connected with uh, water reservoirs. When we uh, fill this, this artificial reservoir with water, we can observe the uh, seismicity. And uh, the last but not least is uh, forensic seismology. This is a very interesting part of seismology, uh, which deals with, with um, explosion. It is uh, very important even today when we have when we face with, uh, with uh, very um, uh, this phenomena uh, uh, connected with nuclear explosion in North Korea. So, as the, the natural um, seismicity is connected with uh, tectonics, so can uh, how seismology can help to understand um, tectonics? So, when through the through the figure, when we have a Mm, these quakes, which were recorded during some period of times here uh, for two times. You will see that these epicenters uh, are located in uh, very specific places and we have some kind of uh, very interesting shape. Uh, what we can say uh, about uh, the shape and this map, we can, we can say that uh, this uh, kind of uh, mm, uh, support the uh, idea or theory that uh, our Earth, the lithosphere of our, our Earth, uh, uh, actually is built uh, uh, with some kind of plates which are called plate, uh, tectonic plates. So there are several um, tectonic plates, and uh, in the border between them, uh, we observe very big. A very huge seismicity. It is to say that this seismicity, this earthquake, the, 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 this kind of earthquakes, uh, which uh, um, on, the, on the border between uh, plates, between tectonics, are the strongest earthquakes observed uh, in the earth. I don't think what was the strongest earthquake uh, ever observed uh, in the earth. Okay, so now let's uh, um, consider how we can measure uh, seismicity. We, what is seismology? We know what, uh, how we can divide seismology. We know that uh, we have a, uh, we have also information how we can divide seismicity. So how we can measure this seismicity? We can measure it using some kind of devices. Which are called, uh, generally speaking, seismometers. But we have a, a very good story of uh, of uh, earthquake measurements or ground measurements, and this story uh, started uh, more than two thousand years ago in China when we had some kind of uh, devices which are uh, called a seismoscope. This kind of size, these devices are very were very nice uh, and it was some kind of uh, maybe even not um, scientific uh, uh, devices 
but rather to some kind of art. So here you can see uh, a seismoscope which was uh, built in uh, ODV developed in China 2000 years ago. Some uh, 100 uh, years ago, uh, uh, we started uh, measurements using another kind of devices, uh, which uh, we called uh, seismographs. Seismographs because they measured and uh, and uh, mm, say draw some kind of uh, plots which are known now that they, they are called seismograms on the on the on the let's say for example paper like here. So seismographs were very nice, but they have uh, one very important limitation, namely they use a very heavy pendulum to uh, record the uh, mo movement of the, of the ground. Uh, this pendulum uh, was so heavy that it was impossible to move, to move this, uh, these devices uh, from one place to another in a very short time. You can imagine that this pendulum was uh, more, more than one um, ton. Uh, OK, and now uh, to measure Ground picking, we use uh, rather small electronical devices, which are called uh, uh, seismometers, actually. But, uh, they also have some kind of uh, pendulum uh, inside, the, inside them, and they measure um, uh, ground shaking. Uh, uh, and uh, information about this ground shaking uh, directly in the, in, in the computers. Here I will show you a very uh, which which will present uh, how seismographs and seismometers, modern seismometers also works. So you have to remember only that uh, in, in 100 years ago uh, this uh, and this measurement was uh, provided by the pendulum, and now this pendulum is uh, some kind of electronic devices, uh, which are uh, not so big. Okay, so we have a frame, we have and uh, uh, we have a pendulum. We, we will see an earthquake in a second, yes. And you got and is shaking except this pendulum. The, this pendulum has a very specific physical properties. We will, uh, will learn about it probably later. And it will stay in the same place during, uh, during the ground shaking. And after earthquake, we have some kind of uh, seismum. And we have a uh, very interesting and specific type of, uh, of um, uh, shape. We did with uh, seismic uh, waves. And what uh, kind of seismic waves we have, we will know uh, in a minute. So let's go to seismic waves. Well, what are seismic waves? So, seismic waves uh, are waves that travel through the Earth's layers from the hypocenter, which is the starting point of the earthquake. Uh, to uh, sensor or to seismometer. And we have two kinds of um, seismic waves. Uh, first is the P wave, uh, second is S wave. And um, why P wave and S wave? Because, uh, uh, um, because they are first, first observed on the seismogram, so they are primary, primary wave. And uh, S wave because they are uh, observed as a second wave uh, uh, after P wave, and they are a secondary wave. They are called secondary waves. And um, uh, as you can see here, actually P wave are um, uh, observed in comparison with S wave, or they have some uh, different uh, physical properties. You can. Uh, you can see it even uh, on this plot that we have a, um, a different frequency of this of this um, uh, these waves. But also, what is very important, what you should know, you should know that uh, P waves are 
faster uh, uh, than S waves, and because of that, they are recorded as a test. Okay, I ask you what was the the biggest earthquake, uh, or the strongest earthquake ever observed on the Earth, uh, and um, maybe you have some idea what was the what was the biggest quake and uh, how we could measure this uh, this uh, the strength of, of the Earth. Mm. Now you compare your uh, your uh, idea uh, with uh, uh, this when we uh, present uh, when we will uh, know how we measure uh, the size of an earthquake. So we measure the size of uh, of an earthquake using two kind of uh, of uh, scale. The first is the intensity scale, and we uh, try to uh, Collect information about some subjective uh, opinion from people who felt uh, earthquakes. So we actually we we measure the effect of an earthquake on the Earth's surface, and here uh, it is um, possible to use, for example, a Mercalli scale. On the other, we can measure an uh, earthquake. Um, an earthquake with uh, magnitude scale. Uh, this magnitude scale is determined directly from measurements on seismograms. And uh, examples of this scale are, for example, a local magnitude, which is sometimes called a Richter scale, moment magnitude, but also a, 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 another different kind of magnitude. Uh, what is uh, important and what you should know is that uh, uh, this magnitude scale is not li linear but rather uh, logarithmic. What it means? It means that uh, um, an earthquake with magnitude 6 is 10 times stronger in comparison with an earthquake with magnitude 5 and 10, ten times uh, uh, smaller in comparison with earthquake with magnitude 7. So now, uh, what uh, what do you think? How was the biggest earthquake ever observed on the Earth? My guess is that it was uh, uh, earthquakes uh, which occurred on which occurred in the uh, 70s uh, and uh, had a magnitude uh, 9. Point. Okay, uh, information on how we can um, use it and uh, you can read uh, the, what, is, uh, what is the description for a, uh, for a specific um, scale. Uh, finally, I will uh, encourage you to visit uh, the ERC POS platform, which is a modern internet uh, tool uh, to um, uh, seismicity, actually, in the seismicity. Um, uh, here you can find uh, very interesting uh, episodes uh, which are connected with uh, specific human activities, and we, you can you can see uh, how uh, real seismic net networks looks like, what kind of information we have, what kind of catalogs we use in seismology, and so on, and so on. Thank you very much for uh, your abundance and have a, a nice day.